Well, today was a very important day for America. 20th of January 2021. Out with Trump. Hello, Biden. Yes, it was the inauguration and the let in the new president of the United States. Well, let's turn things around now and get the votes off you. I need you guys to vote for the new Mr. Man. After these titles. Hello everybody, I was going to do a live stream and then I thought I'd you and knock it up, so uh, I decided not to. <laughs> but before we start on our main subject of this episode, I've got a little bit of unboxing to do. Look at the stamps. There are gorgeous stamps, yeah? And they're not Frank, so I can use them again. So to summary, the Mr. Men, and Little Misses, are 50 years old this year. Came out in 1971. The very first Mr. Man was this little molester. Times have changed. Uh, but yes, Mr. Tickle was the very first Mr. Man. Hello! With his extraordinary long arms, he used to go up to people and tickle them. But oh, they go up to them. You know, to be, you can be a mile away and he can tickle them and uh, not get arrested. Although the famous one was a secondary Mr. Man, which was Mr. Happy and Mr. Greedy. We won't talk about him. <laughs> I look more like Mr. Grumpy. <laughs> <coughs> anyway, Roger Hargreaves was the guy who created them. He created the Mr. Men, the Little Misses, and he also created, in between those two, uh, a, like a sequel of an animal version of Mr. Men called Timbuk2. Now, I used to work with somebody back in the day, a so I mean, lovely girl, lovely Welsh girl called Joanna. I don't, don't think she'll mind me saying that. The shape of this, I know exactly... Like these are, I, it's a Timbuk2 book, but it possibly could be two because it's quite thick. But it's definitely a Timbuk2 book because of the shape, because they always were a bit bigger than this Timbuk for some reason. Mostly. So, I used to do sort of do drawings of Mr. Men for uh, and other people on Butlins. And I used to sometimes as a birthday present, instead of a birthday card, I used to give them a Mr. Men book, but I'd alter some of the story, sort of a few F words and a few F bombs, just to make it a bit more adult. And sort of every Christmas, he does occasionally send me. Some of Mr. Manny or Timbuktui, because I used to love the Timbuktui books. I think I've got a trumpet down here. Sorry, Star Trek. There you are. Tim <laughs> trumpet. A source of elephant from Timbuktu. You can tell Roger Argreaves made these. They're just, uh, they're just animal versions of Mr. Men. Like I said, big kid. Have a look. This is why I weren't doing it live, because it either cut myself. And then you'd be watching me for, for paramedics or something else. Yes. Now, the reason why it's thick is that it's. I think it's. I think it's one bullet. It's got wrapping around it. <laughs> Gold! Is it two? There's two! <laughs> the, other one's got, the other one's got the characters on the back, so I can only see the front one, but the front one is. Who could it be? If you don't know, if you don't know who the characters are, you won't know, but the first one from the Furry But Witch. Is snap <laughs> magic crocodile snaps his fingers and things magically happen. <laughs> I, I used to have a snap erased on the end of a pencil, or in England, as we call it, rubber. I think it was a rubber, I think it was, it was just an end for a pencil, but uh, see, this is how much I was <laughs> up with these characters. They used to draw them as well, so some people say, oh, You draw me a uh, meow, yeah, go on then. You draw me Mr. Silly, yeah, go on then. You draw me Bugs Bunny? I, I can't draw Bugs Bunny. Why not? You can draw the others. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm not business. I'm only eight. Leave me alone. Yeah, this is a note on here. It's embarrassing. I'm showing you first. Uh, quite embarrassing. But the winner, the, the, the runner-up prize is... Meow! <laughs> so meow goes with Wolf. <laughs> Oh, I haven't got me. She did ask. I don't think I have. I've got Oink, which is a pig. <laughs> I've got Wolf. No guesses. Uh, the rest of was Mr. Man books. So, thank you, Joanna. I, I'm really made up. We used to have a chat of like childhood memories and that. We used to talk about one thing like, we had in common that we both loved the series called Shelter the Wheelies. That's why I used to call her Welsh Witch. She used to call me Fat Dragon. 
because I used to be called Lana Dragon. <laughs> used to be on it like, oh, little lady. That's what I used to call her. It was draw very bad. To which you go, ah! Just like the character. Did. So, I'm going to have to definitely do you a chance on the wheel. These memorable bubble episodes just for you. Can you be chair vibrating? I got you vibrating a uh, chair. Sean Connery got me this. But yeah, thank you again, Joanna, for the gifts. Much appreciated. But anyway, back to what I was meant to be talking about. Uh, 50 years of the Mr. Men. Five new characters have been uh, created, but only two will make it through to become proper books and official characters of the series. So let's go and have a look who they are, shall we? Mm -hmm. Yay, balloons! So that's your five characters. Hey! Hello! Mm, hey! <laughs> so first up is Little Miss Kind. Oh, I like her. Little round pink cheeks. Little Miss Kind is a thoughtful and loving person. She is considerate to animals and the world around her. She's intelligent and her kind nature is underpinned by the belief that it's important to think of others and not just herself. She's a great friend who supports those in need, but she can stand up for herself and what she believes is right. Okay. Mr. Calm, this chap looks like the <laughs> Mellows. Mr. Calm is a very peaceful and easygoing outlook on life. He appreciates the simple pleasures, including spending time in nature and practicing yoga. He also loves rock climbing and parkour. <laughs> and he's great at doing his outdoors. He encourages his friends to think before they act and live in the moment. He's relaxed and tolerant. Perspective means that he's a calming influence and has a wise head. Okay. So, Mr. Calm. Parkour. Little Miss Energy. It's like a charm. Little Miss Energy also always throws herself into wholeheartedly into whatever she does. She has lots of different interests and hobbies and always the first to say yes to any plan, whether it's climbing a mountain or making a mural or probably going parkour with the other guy. Uh, enthusiasm of life is infectious and a positive outlook and willingness to try things, which means she is never bored. Okay, so that's good. So she's a positive character. Little Miss Energy. Mr. Brilliant, he's my type of guy. The, the cartoon, Mr. Men, not, the, not in a man. Because <laughs> uh, he looks very artistic. Um, like me. Mr. Brilliant loves being creative. He's always full of ideas, enjoys sketching, painting, and making things. His ability to look at things differently helps his friends see the world in a new way. He brings much joy through his limitless imagination and gives others the confidence to embrace their own creativity. So that's my type of character. Creativity. Um, yes, I'm not very zestful. That man looks like I'll be doing parkour tomorrow. <laughs> what the fuck? Well, another chav looking character. She looks mean. Little Miss Brave stands up for what she believes in. She is not afraid to speak out and is fearless when championing things close to heart, including her friends. Her uh, bravery has an inner strength and confidence which enables her to be trying new things, challenge uh, expectations and inspire those to be the best of what they can be. And that's your five Mr. Men. A bit walkish, isn't it? This is all sort of bringing out the best in these characters. What happened to the uh, Mr. Stupus? <laughs> he walks into walls. So, you, we've got up till the 31st of March to vote for one of two Mr. Men. So, I'll vote for the characters. Does it, will it let us have a look who's uh, winning? Submit vote. Well, I am going for Mr. Brilliant. And I'll go for Little Miss Kind. I think it's two sensible votes there. But they're all okay characters. Um, I just like the creative side and I like a positive side of somebody, somebody who's really helpful. And that's probably the aspects of me, I, I like to think. So, however, <laughs> let's see what the view results. And in the lead is, hey, Little Miss Kind at 26, about uh, 19%. Number two is Little Miss Brave. I don't really like her, but she's positive. Mr. Cam at three, Little Miss Energy at four, and white at the back. Aww. This is Mr. Brilliant, but there's still time. Still time to turn it round. <laughs> For the three people who have still stuck this far watching me talk about Mr. Men, <laughs> and you're interested, 
go to the website now instead of using the mrman.com and vote for the what you think might be the two new characters in part of the 50 years of Mr. Man and Little Mrs. I can't believe I'm a 50 year old talking about bloody scribbles. <laughs> yeah.